So, the main prize winner's third prize goes to Janine Pinion. Is Janine in the house? Janine, would you please come up and read your poem? We're delighted to have you, please. that I tried not to be influenced, given my background, by the title of this poem in the judging process. And I, I'm pretty sure that I was able not to let the title overly influence me. Good afternoon. Thanks. Some of you who know me will know I'm from Belfast, from Ulster, in fact. Um, and I have many memories of there, um, one of which is breakfast, and if any of you have ever been, uh, you'll know. Um, and also the time I grew up in the 70s there, and the landscape, many things like that. All in this poem, Ulster Grill. Three breads, two puddings, sausage stuffed with grain, an egg on top, and a careful rasher of bacon laid with grace. A tray of tea follows, breaking the silence with its little bell. And always you're asked, is it enough? Would you like some more? Along the coast from this butter-scented room, in a small town with seven castles, through three locks, a city, and a pinball of glens and arches. You'll be asked the same questions. Is it enough? Would you like some more? Soda and potato, wheat and oats, blood and guts, sunny side up. sense narrow orbit uh, to take you know having to do with a fry up the Ulster fry which is known in some places as the great British fry in some places as the great Irish breakfast <laughs> uh, in some places as the great Scottish breakfast but we know it as the Ulster fry the fr to, to, to describe something of the the uh, horror uh, life there in the 1970s in particular through such deft images. Really spectacular. Congratulations. <laughs>